What's going on guys? Welcome back to another discord.js tutorial. Today we're going to be coding a music discord bot. So if you're new here, make sure to watch the first video of the playlist, which teaches you how to set up the discord bot. The second video, which goes over about the basic command handler and a third video for the advanced command handler. Now, before we get started, you guys have to install FMPEG on your PC. This basically allows you to convert a YouTube video or any video into an extreme audio. And that's how we're going to be doing our conversion. Now, this is something you have to install in your PC. So I'm going to have a tutorial in the description below on how to install this. So go ahead and check out that tutorial and then come back to this video. So let's get started with our code. Let's open up our project. And in here, we actually have to install a couple NPN packages that's going to allow us to create our music bot. So open up your terminal and type NPM install and type all of these packages. We got at discord.js slash opus, ffmpeg static, yt search, and ytdl core. I'm actually going to have this exact line in the description if you guys just want to copy and paste it into your terminal. Go ahead and run that, and that's going to install all of the packages we're going to need for this tutorial. Let me talk about how this tutorial is going to work. We're only going to have two commands, the play and the leave command. We're not going to be adding queuing. That's something that we're going to be adding in a future tutorial, so make sure to follow this channel to get a notification when we upload basically how to code a music bot part two. So let's go to our command handler down here. And we actually want to create two other commands, which is going to be the play command as well as the leave command. So this again is using our advanced command handler and you got to go ahead and check out that video in the playlist if you want to know how this functions. Let's go to our commands folder and create these new commands. So let's create the play.js and the leave.js. Let's get started with the play.js. Inside of our play.js, we want to import two packages that we added to our project. The first one is ytdl. You have to do require ytdl core. And the second one is going to be yt searched. And we named our const here yt search. And then we're just going to do the basic module.exports. So let's add a name as well as description. And let's add the execute method with the message and args. So the next thing we want to do is actually add a voice channel. So we want to get the voice channel inside of this code. Now, what is this voice channel? It's going to be the voice channel that a user is currently in who is trying to invoke the bot to join that channel and play a specific song. So we just do const voice channel equals message that member that voice that channel. And what we're going to do is we want to check that that member is actually in a voice channel. So here we get in the voice channel. Now let's check it that they're in that voice channel. So all we're going to do is we're going to do if they're not in voice channel, we want to return to message that channel that sent. You need to be in a channel to execute this command. And that's how we're going to check if they're in a voice channel. Now, the other thing we have to do is check for certain permissions that they're, they're going to have to basically have on their role if they want to invoke this command. Now, those permissions actually are if you actually go up here into server settings and we go into roles. And let's go into a random role like member. The permissions are all the way down here in the voice permissions, which is going to be connect and speak. So let's go ahead and add those by adding first a variable called permissions. That's going to hold voice channel permissions for and then message client user. And then we're going to check that they have the connect permission. So here, if they don't have the connect permission, we're going to send them a message saying you don't have the correct permissions. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this and do it for the speak permission. So if they don't have the speak permissions, we're again going to return a message that channel that send. You don't have the correct permissions. And finally, what we want to do is we want to check that they're actually sending some arguments and they're not just sending, you know, play. Um, they're actually sending something like a link or some keywords that, you know, we want to use to search for a specific YouTube video. So if rx length, if there's no length to the arguments, we're going to return a message channel send. You need to send the second argument. All right, we are ready for the bulk of our video. And the first thing you want to do is create a variable that's going to hold our connection. So we're going to do const connection equals await voice channel that join. And this is where our bot is going to join our voice channel. Second thing you want to do is create a function that it's going to go ahead and find the video based on the keywords that the user sent through the arguments. So in here, we're going to do const video finder equals async query. And we're going to open this up with an arrow function. 
and we're going to create a variable that is going to basically search with YouTube search, YT search up here. So const video result is going to be an await. That's why we have asynchronous up here. YT search, and we're going to pass in that query. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to return all of those results. So YT search is going to get all of the keywords that were sent through the arguments, and it's going to find all of the possible YouTube videos. Then in here in the return, we're actually having an if statement. So if video results, that videos that length is greater than one, what we want to do is we just want to get the first video of that array. Since we're getting keywords, YT search again is getting a list of YouTube videos that are associated with that keyword, but we only want the first one. So if it's greater than one, then we just want to go ahead and get the first one. If not, we're just going to return null. Next, what we want to do is we actually want to create a variable that is going to hold the video that we find from the video finder. So we're going to create a const video and it's going to be a wait video finder args that join. There's going to be a space here between your little string. So what's currently happening right here? First, we are getting the args and we're joining the args. So all of the keywords that they send through the arguments, it's getting passed down through here into the video finder, which then we use YT search with those arguments and it's going to search for all of the possible videos with those keywords. Then we're going to get a list and we're narrowing down all that list into one result. And that is what we're returning from this function. All right, so now what if we get the actual result of the video? We wanna have an if statement. So if video, if we get the result, we wanna create a variable called stream, and this is what is actually gonna happen when we use ytdl. So create this variable, const stream equals ytdl, and the first thing we're gonna pass in is video.url. So this right here, this const, we wanna pass that in, dot URL. Then we wanna put a comma, and we want to filter this. We only want to get the audio. So filter audio only. Next is we actually want to play this. So connection that play, we want to pass in stream, which is that exact same variable that we created up here. And we also want to add some things. First thing we're going to add is seek, put that to zero, and the volume, put that to one. You can kind of edit this, but just make sure what you're doing. Uh, this is basically what you should pretty much have. These are good settings. And what we want to do is once the bot has played, we want to basically let the bot leave once it's done playing the music. So we're going to have an event called dot on finish. We're going to do an arrow function. And in here, we're going to do voice channel dot leave. So let me explain how this works. If we get a result from this video variable here, we're going to get to that video and we're going to use YTDL with the video URL to basically filter the audio only. This is how we're getting the audio to actually output to the Discord voice channel. Then we're using our connection that we created up here to play that audio. So here we pass in stream, which is our audio. And then we have more filters, a little more option here that lets us kind of maneuver and uh, change some things like the seek and the volume. Once it is done playing, we want the Discord bot to leave. So we have an on event here and finish, and we're just simply removing the bot. So voice channel that leave. And one of the final things we're gonna do is actually add a message to the user saying, hey, we are not playing that specific video. So we have an await message that reply. We have a little emoji here. You don't have to have the emoji, but we added an emoji. And it's gonna say now playing, and then we're gonna have the money sign two brackets, make sure this is the tilde, which is the key next to one, the back tick, and do video that title. We're also gonna create one more else statement. So else, message our channel sent, no video results found. And this is just a little bit of error checking just in case we couldn't find the video. So let's actually go ahead and run this. No space dot. Go into our, ooh, it looks like we got an error. Oh wait, yes, this is actually something that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Up here in the execute, make sure you have this as async. This is very important next to the execute method. All right, kind of sad that I forgot to tell you guys that. No space that. 
There it is, bot is online. Let's go into our Discord server. We're currently in a voice channel. Let's actually leave the channel and try doing the play. It's gonna say, you need to be in a channel to execute this command. And this right here is exactly this code right here. Cool. Let's join the Discord channel and do play. And let's think of some keywords so it's gonna search on YouTube. So non-copyright gaming music. We misspelled music, but it's still gonna go ahead and search. And it's gonna play the music and it's gonna say not playing, best mix, best music mix for non-copyrighted EDM, gaming, whatever, whatever. Just like that. So the bot works. As so you can see, that's non-compredited gaming music. But we have no way to actually stop the bot. The only way it's going to stop is if the video is over. However, I think this video is probably like an hour long. So let's add the stop command. So let's work on our leave command. In our leave file, of course, we're going to do the module exports and a name, which is leave. Make sure this is exactly the same thing as the file. Description, stop the bot and leave the channel. And let's do a module exports. Again, make sure you have async, asynchronous. And in here, we wanna basically get the voice channel once again. So const voice channel equals member, or sorry, message.member.voice.channel. And what we wanna do is we wanna check that the user once again is in the voice channel. So they have to be in a voice channel to stop the music. So exactly the same thing as we had in play, but we're gonna return a message. You need to be in a voice channel to stop the music. And what we're going to do is we're going to wait voice channel dot leave and await message dot channel is sent leaving channel. And then we add an emoji here. You don't have to add an emoji. We just have smiling underscore face underscore with underscore tier. So this is how you do the leave. So let me explain how this works. We're getting the voice channel. Then we're checking that they are in a voice channel. And then we're going to wait for all this to happen. And then once that's done, we are going to simply leave that voice channel and send them a message saying that we are leaving. So let's go ahead and save and run our bot one more time. So actually, let's run it. No space not. And come in here. Let's go ahead and do the exact same thing, which is just do non copyrighted gaming music. Let's actually type music correctly. Even though, as you can see here, even if you misspell a keyword, YT search is still going to go ahead and find the best result. Still one more time. There we go. Music is playing. Stop. And there was a mistake. Let me go ahead and turn this down a little bit. What was the mistake? Sorry, it's not stop. That's not mistake. It's my mistake. It's leave. Leave. Leaving channel with the emoji. Perfect. So now we have something to play, something to leave. However, we want to do something else with play. Right now, it only works when we have certain keywords. So you can search whatever you want. So let me actually make this a little bigger. You can do something like play um, AOT theme, right? Attack and Titan theme or something like that. You can type whatever you want and it's all gonna be based on keywords. But what if you want to send and be able to play a URL? And that is something that we wanna add to our bots. So let's go ahead and add that. So back in our code, what we want to do is we want to create a function that it's going to validate a URL. Basically check that that argument that they sent through the command is a URL. And this right here is that function, basically. Now, this is kind of a little bit of a, I'm going to say advanced JavaScript, and this is kind of tough. There's actually a lot of ways that we can pretty much validate a URL, but I decided to go this way. So I'm going to have this function both in the comment section below as well in the description. There's going to be a link to all of the code in today's tutorial. So make sure to go to the comments. I'm going to pin it and this is going to be like the function in the comments. So go ahead and copy that. However, this is going to work is we created a function called valid URL. We're going to pass in a string. Then we're going to test that string based on this code, which is going to validate that it's a HTTP. It's a link. And if it's not, we're going to return false. And if it is, we're going to return true. Next, we're actually going to do an if statement. And this if statement is going to do a validate URL with our arguments. So now we're using this function to validate the URL. 
based on the argument zero, which is the second argument of our command. And then we're going to simply send a message. However, I don't think we want to do a message. So I'm going to delete this after we finish with this if statement. Also, create a const connection await voice channel that join. It's the same thing down here. And we're going to do a const stream, but this time it's going to be ytdl. We're going to pass in arg0. And then once again, we're going to filter that with audio only. And just like we did down here with connection to play, we are going to do connection to play stream, which is this variable right here. I'm going to do the seek zero volume at one. And then we're going to do the dot on finish. So once it's done playing, we're going to do voice channel that leave. And we're going to send a message in the channel saying message that channel to send leaving channel. And then all the way down here, we're going to wait message reply with a thumbs up saying not playing your link. So instead of down here saying your video title, here we're playing your link. And then finally, make sure you have return at the very end. If you do not have return, this whole thing will break all the way down here. This return is basically telling this entire code to break out of the entire module exports. So once we get to this code, we're not going to execute any of this code. So let me go ahead and explain how it works. Over here, we're getting the arguments and we're passing that arguments into this execute method. Then we're going to validate those arguments to see if it is a HTTP URL. If it is, we're only going to execute this if statement. So if it is, we're going to get passed down here, the first arguments, we're going to filter by audio, get the audio and stream it. Once it's done, leave. And then through that, send the now plain message. After this, it's going to return and break. We no longer execute everything down here. However, if they didn't send a link, that probably means they sent keywords and normal words. We don't do this over here and we skip all the way down here where we do the code that we just had. So let's go ahead and save and run our bot. Go into our discord server and this is going to be our final test. Let's go ahead and test the normal play one more time. So let's go ahead and do non carpati music. It's going to go ahead and join. And it's going to say we're playing this specific song. Now I'm going to test what happens when we type something else. So play non copy right music. So not gaming. It's going to stop playing it now and it's going to play a different song. So again, we don't have a queuing system. That's something we're going to add in a later tutorial. But for now, it does work. Then we can do something like stop and the bots. Sorry, I keep doing stop leave and the bot is leaving the channel. So let me go ahead and get a URL. So I'm going to go to YouTube. Um, let me just get a random URL, non copyright music. Ooh, non copyright Christmas music. I am down Christmas music. Okay. I don't know what this is. Copy. Play with the link. And we're going to do now your link, not playing your link. Again, I kind of forgot. I told you guys that I was going to delete this. So up here, delete this message that you sent to the channel. If you want us to message, go ahead. But we're already sending a message down here. So there we go. Now we can delete this. And this is how it should look. So again, you can do keywords. You can do links. This is all based on YouTube. And YouTube pretty much does everything. So you should be fine. All right, leave and we're done. That is officially a music bot that you can have running on your discord bot and on your own discord server. So it actually wasn't that hard. I'll have all the code in the description below, as well as the other codes in the comment section below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more discord.js tutorials. And I'll be seeing you guys later on my next video. Peace.